Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak an iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, this is an unjailbroken iPod Touch. Recently, um, I put, um, I just put iOS 5.0.1 on it, and before that it was semi-tethered with iOS 5. This is my sister's iPod. Um, I'm currently recording this using my jailbroken iPod. But, um, Okay, so what you're going to need is going to need the iPod Touch 4th generation iOS 5 IPSW and Red Snow, and I'll put a link in both descriptions. So let's get started. Okay, guys, um, what you're going to need for this video, like for in order to jailbreak your iPod, is Red Snow, and you're also going to need the IPSW file for iOS 5.0.1. I'll post links to get both of those in the description. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start up Red Snow. Make sure your iPod that you want to jailbreak is plugged in and turn it off. Okay. Now click Extras. Select IPSW. Then go into the directory. Red Snow in this case. And select the IPSW file. Now give it a minute to load it. And it should tell you the following build is identified and then this and just click OK. Now click back, jailbreak, and it'll process all the data. <clears throat> just let it do that. Okay, so you should get to this screen, and at this part you want to just select Install Cydia and Enable Battery Percentage. That's just the default, just leave it alone. So click next. Now, you'll come to the screen that says please make sure your device is both off and plugged in and it'll just tell you what to do. So now click next. Now hold the power button for three seconds. Now when it tells you to hold the power button and the home button for ten seconds. And now at about four seconds you should go into uh, DFU mode. Now for the last part just release the power button and hold it for another fifteen seconds. In about nine seconds, it should go and... Okay, it took a little longer this time. Sorry about that, I accidentally... Okay. It's still going. And I got lucky. I got it the first time around. It looks like... <clears throat> The main error I normally get, wait a minute, but anyway, the main error I normally get is that it'll go and start jailbreaking, it'll just jump to uploading second stage, and it'll go really fast, and it'll just say, um, could not, like, it just said there's an error. Now, once it gets to this part, the screen should, um, should light up. See, so downloading jailbreak data. So just let it upload the kernel. And now you'll see this awesome looking command prompt that makes you feel like a hacker. And you see it's the untethered jailbreak. And it'll just go and it'll, it's jailbreaking. And At this point, I believe you can unplug your device, although I haven't tried it. So, I normally just leave it plugged in just to be sure, but I am pretty sure you could plug it in. Now, we should see in a few minutes, or half a minute, whatever, is a pineapple wearing running shoes, or like athletic shoes, or running. Sort of reminds you of Spongebob. So, I should get that any moment now. Just It's just uploading the um, exploit right now. I believe these use a buffer exploit, but that's like... Really complicated, nerdy stuff. Alright guys, as you can see, you get that running pineapple with the bite taken out of it. And installing bundles. And now you should be jailbroken. So I'm just going to wait for it to boot up just to be sure. Should have Cydia. Okay everyone. You don't need to um, boot Tether in order for it to work, but as you see, the reason it says preparing file systems is because I went into Cydia. So, yeah, as you can see, it just says Cydia there. So, you're now jailbroken, and that's about it. So, um...
yeah, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure you check out my blog, techhelpforall.blogspot.com. And, you know, other than that, just have fun with it. Uh, and I'm going to make some tutorials and, like, things you could get. There's Sarah, which is a Siri clone. Um, you know, things like that. Right, so, um, thank you for watching.